Hello everybody, I am Suman Matthews and uh, today we will be discussing the topic Angle Between Two Lines. This is a part of grade 12 mathematics and also questions are asked in the NATA eligibility test on mathematics. So come watch this video with me. This is a part of three dimensional geometry class 12 mathematics and NATA eligibility test. How do you calculate the angle between two lines and why do we need it? So come watch this video with me. In this section we learn to calculate the angle between two lines, how to calculate equation of a line passing through a point and perpendicular to two lines and how to calculate the foot of a perpendicular from a point to a line. Do subscribe to my videos for more videos on three-dimensional geometry. So this is a plane and this is a point x1, y1, z1 on the plane and this is a unit normal to the plane. Given two lines in Cartesian form that is x minus x1 by a1 equal to y minus y1 by b1 equal to z minus z1 by c1 and x minus x2 by a2 equal to y minus y2 by b2 equal to z minus z2 by c2. The angle between the two lines is given by cos theta equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 by root of a1 squared plus b1 squared plus c1 squared into root of a2 squared plus b2 squared plus c2 squared. So we basically need to know the direction ratios of the two lines. And the acute angle is given by cos theta equal to modulus of a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 by root a1 squared plus b1 squared plus c1 squared into root a2 squared plus b2 squared plus c2 squared. If l1 m1 n1 l2 m2 n2 are the direction cosines of the line that is if you are directly given the direction cosines the angle theta is given by cos theta equal to l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2. Coming to problems Find the angle between the lines R equal to 3i minus 2j plus 6k plus delta into 2i plus j plus 2k and R equal to 2j minus 5k plus sigma into 6i plus 3j plus 2k. Note that these lines are given in vector form. So converting to Cartesian form we get x minus 3 by 2 equal to y plus 2 by 1 equal to z minus 6 by 2 and this will give you x minus 0 by 6 equal to y minus 2 by 3 equal to z plus 5 by 2. So cos theta using the above formula would be 12 plus 3 plus 4 by root of 4 plus 1 plus 4 into root of 36 plus 9 plus 4 that is 19 by 21. So theta is cos inverse 19 by 21. Equation of a line passing through a point A and perpendicular to two lines, the lines R1 equal to A1 plus alpha B1 and R2 equal to A2 plus mu B2 is governed by R equal to A plus rho B1 cross B2. So we take the cross product of B1 and B2. The best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. So you need to practice these problems along with me and work and work until you master it. Find the equation of the line passing through 1, 2, minus 4 and perpendicular to the lines R equal to 8i minus 19j plus 10k plus alpha into 3i minus 16j plus 7k and R equal to 15i plus 29j plus 5k plus mu into 3i plus 8j minus 5k. So the required line will be perpendicular to these two lines. So we take the direction ratios of these two lines that is 3 minus 16, 7, 3, 8 minus 5. Take the cross product that is we take a 3 by 3 determinant. So it is i into 80 minus 56 minus j into minus 15 minus 21 plus k into 24 plus 48. That would give you 24i plus 36j plus 72k. So equation of the required line, the line passes through 1, 2 minus 4. So it would be i plus 2j minus 4k plus t into the 24i plus 36j plus 72k where t is some real number. That would be 1 plus 24t into i plus 2 plus 36tj 
plus minus 4 plus 72 t k. Coming to the next problem, find the foot of the perpendicular drawn from 0 to 3 on this line x plus 3 by 5 equal to y minus 1 by 2 equal to z plus 4 by 3. Note that this is the equation of the line in Cartesian form. So we say let x plus 3 by 5 equal to y minus 1 by 2 equal to z plus 4 by 3 be equal to say t. So x is 5t minus 3, y is 2t plus 1, z equal to 3t minus 4. This is a point on the line. You want to find the perpendicular from 0 to 3. Now direction ratios of this line are 5 to 3. And direction ratios of the perpendicular are 5t minus 0. 2t minus 1 and 3t minus 7. We subtract these. So since the two lines are perpendicular, dot product of the direction ratios is 0. So I get 5 into 5t minus 3 plus 2 into 2t minus 1 plus 3 into 3t minus 7 equal to 0. So t equal to 1. Substituting here, we get the point of intersection as 2, 3, minus 1. So what have we learned in this video? How to calculate the angle between two lines? How to calculate equation of a line passing through a point and perpendicular to two lines? And how to calculate foot of the perpendicular from a point to a line? Was this video useful? Do subscribe to my channel if it is. This is my channel ID or you can visit my web page. There are two web pages, one on Nata Mathematics and one having videos on grade 12 maths or view my playlist on three-dimensional geometry. Thank you.